ideal dude rock and ground type. Oh! you get either a Mankey or a Butterfree before you pop into this gym here in, here in town. Trust me on this. You'll see why. There aren't many serious Pokemon trainers here. They're all like, they're all bug catchers, you know, but Peter Jim's Brock is totally into it. Yeah. We're so into Pokemon here. Th that sounds so 90s. <laughs> When Jigglypuff sings, Pokemon get drowsy. Me too. Hmm, is that so? Hey, Jiggly Jiggly! Oh. Pikachu. Uh, huh? Yo, Pikachu! <laughs> I'm just going to chill. Uh! There you go. But say yeah, don't leave me here. <laughs> Pokemon cinders are wonderful. They heal your Pokemon completely, even conditions like blah 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 blah. Yeah, pretty much. Like, uh, duh. <laughs> there are ends before your Pokemon. Hashtag Kofet. Mm. Saturday morning Kofefe is one of the best Kofefes. Ugh, just, it feels better. It just, it, it tastes better. In any case, what? Team Rocket is at Mount Moon? Huh? I'm on the phone. Fuck off, kid. Damn, scram. All right, chill. Huh. Hope Team Rocket whips you good. No, 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 no. Like, what the fuck is, what the fuck is that old man's problem? Like, whether it's Xenosaga 3 or Pokemon Yo, there's some moody bitch somewhere that just will just, like, like, get laid or something, dude, dude, lady, just chill the fuck out. Eat a dick or suck some pee or something. Like, I, 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 I come on already, just chill. Like, why, why are you so bitchy? Why are you so moody? God! It, it, it makes no sense! I mean, I know not everyone can be happy all the time. I'm just like, chill the fuck out! Do you need to suck some dick? Like, do something to just take your mind off the stress. That helps me out. Shit. But in any case... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Moving on, moving on. Um, oh my god, I gotta get my mind out of the gutter for a sec. They sell escape ropes here. Pretty good, because they can get your, um, your ass out of dungeons. The problem is that they cost an arm and a leg. I'm getting them. <laughs> no. Well, uh, yeah, I'm actually getting escape ropes. If you cannot afford the escape ropes, I recommend getting at least one. At least one. Like I said, they help you to escape out of dungeons quickly. And we, we, we will be coming up to a dungeon very soon that is hella annoying, especially if you run out of potions. So, needless to say, um, do I have awakenings? Let me see. No, I do not. The thing is, awakenings um, cure your Pokemon from the sleep status. And I recommend highly that you pick up some. Because there is one annoying Pokemon later down the line that can actually put you to sleep. So, well, just having Awakenings in general was helpful. Hmm. In any case, this over here leads to Route 3. 
I wonder if there's any new Pokemon to catch. Uh, you're a trainer, right? Brock's looking for new challengers. Yes, yeah, so? I'm just out here to catch some Pokemon, bro. Follow me! Do I have to... Wow. Okay, so yeah. If you try and go on Route 3, you'll get caught blocked by this dude. And he'll take your ass right to the gym. If you have the right stuff, go take him on Brock. Wow, man. Did he just hop over this thing? Huh. Well, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's rumored that Clefairies come from the moon. They appeared after Mount after the moonstone fell on Mount Moon. Hmm. Well, there you go. Clefairy! Okay, so I think there's a hidden item here somewhere. Let's see. That could have been fire red though. Uh I think. Hmm. Yeah, just be very mindful because there are hidden items. And stuff like that, just like that, um, that potion and Viridian. Yeah, be very mindful. That being said, though, let's take on the pewter gem. Hey, dude, how's it going? Hiya, I can tell you have what it takes to become a champion. <laughs> Do you now? Hey, I'm no trainer, but I can tell you how to win. Let me take you to the top, or I can take you to the bottom, but more so the top. All right, then, let's get happening. It will be tough for your Pikachu at this gym. Why? Electric-type attacks are harmless to rock, Brock's ground-type Pokemon. Yeah, pretty much. So, if you come strolling along and you're looking for Pikachu to solve your problems in this gym, it ain't happening. The problem, however, with Pikachu, Pikachu being Electric-type does not stand a chance against Brock, at least in Gen 1. I mean, there are mo moves in Gen 2 Edwards that can help Pikachu out against Brock types, but still! In Gen 1, there is no Iron Tail or anything like that, so... You try Thundershock and a Geodude, it's just not gonna end well for you. So, that's why I recommend it getting a Mankey. Or a, um, Butterfree. It'll help out immensely here. Immensely. Trust me on this. Now, in any case, you put Fitz in the lead because he's going to be tanking this um this gym. And for some odd reason, they well they have gym trainers in, in the gyms, but for some reason, you can just flat out avoid this guy. Just go behind him, and you can just avoid his ass. But no, no, I actually want to be a boss and take him out front line. Stop right there, kid. You're still light years from facing Brock. <laughs> I, I see. But yeah, I'm not going to be a bitch. I'm, I'm just going to go and take his ass out. Right now! Battle time! Oh, God, I love Gen 1 battle themes. Fuck. It brings out the nostalgia in me. It brings out the kid in me. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah, I forgot Diglett is, like, really fast. Notice Diglett's sprite, it looks so much better than in red and blue. They did better with the sprites in, in Pokemon Yellow. Except one sprite in particular is still trash, and I think you know which one I'm talking about. <coughs> red <King. coughs> But, you know, there you go. Low kick that bitch! Sandshrew and both, both Sandshrew and Diglett are both ground types. This is a rock type gym, yet he's using pure ground types. Maybe he belongs in another gym later in the game. Wrong gym, bruh? Torn. Light years isn't time, it measures distance. Thank you for the math lesson. Or science? Hmm. You're pretty hot, but not as hot as Brock. Wh what? <laughs> no, 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 wait, 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 wait. I think I misread that. Let me see. You're pretty hot. But you're not as hot as Brock. Is this dude coming on to me? I mean, I'm flattered, but, um... What the fuck? <laughs> I, I, now, if you're, playing the game, if you're playing this game and you're fighting this guy as a kid, this probably won't mean shit. But when you're playing it as an adult, you kind of get the context. You're pretty hot, but not as hot as Brock. 
Does he have a thing for Brock? Oh, well, no wonder he's the only one here. <laughs> well, there you go. This guy comes on to you. And he has a crush on Brock. So, there you go. Cool. <laughs> In any case, hey, dude, how's it going? You must be Brock. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's gym leader. No shit. <clears throat> I believe in rock hard defense. Oh. And determination. Rock hard. <laughs> That's why my Pokemon are all the rock type. Do you still want to challenge me? Fine then. Show me your best. Hmm. Okay. I'll show you my best. So, Brock, you, you do know one of your gym trainers has a, a crush on you, right? He thinks you're pretty hot. So, I'm just not as hot as you, it seems, uh, apparently. Huh. Well, let's see who's the hotter dude. Because it's time for a gym battle boss fight. Versus Brocko. Yes. Brock's actually wearing a shirt in this game. I think in red and blue, he wasn't wearing any shirt. Shirt or shirtless, it makes no difference to me. Because Brock is still going the fuck down. Low kick that bitch. Geo Dude is Rock Slayer's ground type, and the nice thing about Rock types is that they are weak to fighting type moves. That's why I wanted you to get Manky! Low kick that bitch! It only takes two low kicks to take that bitch down. Yay! Level up, baby! Noise. Alright, now here comes Onyx. Now, Onyx is a real, real bitch. The thing is, I want Pikachu to get some of this sexy EXP. So, just have Pikachu come in, get maybe one attack in, and then dip. Honestly, don't have him in there for too long. What I want to do is, I want to get in a tail whip. That will lower Onyx's defense. Now, he'll start using Bind, or Bide. Now, every time Onyx takes damage and stuff like that, he will store up that energy. And in two turns, he will unleash the beast. Pretty much. So, yeah, needless to say, you want to take out Onyx before he gets that bind off, or bide off. So, yeah. So, yeah, just have your Pikachu come in if you wanted to get some EXP. Come in, tail whip, have it dip, and then switch out to your Mankey or Butterfree. Now, for your Butterfree, spam the fuck out of confusion. If you have any status element moves at this point, which Butterfree should have, probably Poison Powder or Sun Spore, I believe. So, yeah, take advantage of it. And, of course, for Mankey, low kick that bitch! Onyx is, like, deal dude, rock, and ground type. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting him to release it so soon. Damn, he must be rock hard, man. But, you came too quickly. That's not, that's not fun. I want to enjoy it more! Don't come too quickly now! Man, let me tell- let me whip that ass. Uh. No! 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 God, I hate this move. Bind? Or bind in this game? In Gen 1? Yeah! Bind! Wrap! Fire spin! Are moves that can trap you in place. Those that have seen my Pokemon Red and Blue walkthrough slash LP and my Pokemon Stadium LP, you know from experience how much I hate the fuck out of these kind of moves because they trap you in place! And you cannot move unless the attack misses or he decides he gets bored and uses another attack! So, yeah, this is going to be bad! So, all I, all I can do is just keep spamming the fuck out of Quick Attack and hope I can take his ass down. The problem is Bind. So, yeah, even if you use moves like a Quick like a quick Attack, it won't matter because he'll just keep trapping your ass in place. Oh my gosh. That's the problem. That's one of the biggest problems with Gen 1 is moves like this. It, it, it's a literal rage-breaking moment. Get it? <laughs> Trust me, my rage is broken and move in um in this game with moves like that constantly on my ass. Wow! I just need to get in like two more quick attacks. If I can do that, I win this shit. The 
problem is now Pikachu's defense just fell a bit. So if he uses tackle, I might be boned. We can attack! Come on! Shit! Oh, it missed! Get him, Pikachu! Go! Pikachu Sakura! Yeah! <laughs> My Pikachu just whooped your ass! <laughs> nice! Brock, that's good game. I took you for granted. As proof of your victory, here's the Boulder Badge. Yay! Boulder Badge, get to those A! Our first badge in the game. That's an official Pokemon League badge. It's, a, it's the various Pokemon become more powerful. The Technique Flash can now be used anytime. Nice. Once we get the move, that is. Oh my gosh! That came down to the wire. If he if he would have used Bind again and stuff, it would have made the battle longer. And then if he would have used Tackle, Pikachu probably would have got one shot. It. So needless to say, I got extremely lucky. Wait, take this with you. And we get TM34, our first TM in the game. A TM contains a technique that can be taught to your Pokemon. A TM is good for only one use, so when you use it, you can only teach it to a technique, but it can only be used once. So, pick the Pokemon carefully. It contains Bind. Your Pokemon will absorb damage in battle, then pay it back double. Prepare for trouble and make it double. Pretty much, Bind is a prepare for trouble move, and then it makes it double by doubling the power. Get it? There are all kinds of trainers in the world. Some raise Pokemon for fights, some see them as pets. Which I don't know why they just see them as pets. Like, oh, you're so adorable, be my plushie. Fa fail. Mm. And I'm in training to become a Pokemon breeder. <laughs> if you take your Pokemon training seriously, go visit the gym in Cerulean and test your abilities. Hmm, okay. I assume Brock knows Misty. Obviously. <laughs> so, yeah, test your abilities against the annoying water girl. I'll be sure to do that. <laughs> Good luck with your crush on Brock, dude. Good luck. In a case, just as I thought, your, your Pokemon chant material. Thank you, thank you very much. Pikachu, you came in clutch, baby! Vance and Pikachu really got the jump there. I am shocked that his Onyx got that bite off so fast. Like, literally, it was way too quick. I wasn't expecting it for, like, another turn. And he wiped my Mankey out. Ooh. That's why I said don't, don't come wanting in there unless you have a Pokemon that can take them out. If you don't get Mankey or Butterfree, you can also get Nidoran. Male or female, it really doesn't matter. Because I think they both can learn double kick. Which, you know, is immensely helpful either way. But Mankey is slightly more tanky, in my opinion. So, that's why I wanted to go for Mankey instead of going for Nidoran. So, pretty much that. But yeah, have one of the three. One of the three. For the gym. Because if you don't, and you're only using Pikachu, your ass is going to get kicked. Why the fuck do I have Pidgeotto still in my party? I completely forgot I even had Pidgeotto in there still. Oh my gosh. But this is a prime example to show off here. Now, um, you can go to someone's PC, and if you have excess Pokemon that you want to get out of your party, go to someone's PC, you can deposit your Pokemon... See ya, bitch. <laughs> no. <laughs> and if you want to bring them back, just use the withdrawal um, thing up here. You can bring them back in your party. You can also check the status of your Pokedex and stuff like that with Professor Oak's PC. So, there you go. Just want to point that out. Tutorial over. Let's get the fuck out. Whew. Well, we got our first badge. And goddamn, that was hell annoying. But we did it, viewers. We did it. Now, I think after you get some, some new badges, I think the shops sell new things. Probably not. Well, the shop here doesn't sell anything new. But I recommend highly that you pick up at least two or three more potions. As well as an escape rope. 
And oh yeah, um, there is a couple Pokemon in there that can do some status elements. So pick up at least a couple antidotes, an awakening, and a couple paralyzed heals. And maybe one, at least one escape rope, like I said earlier. Trust me on this. The next place that we're going to is hella annoying. Our first big dungeon in the game. So if you don't have the means to get through there and stuff like that, unscathed, well, if you, if you can't get through there unscathed, you might as well turn the game on. No, 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 I, I'm just kidding. But yeah, take precautions. That being said, though, now, now that we got the badge, that guy won't cock block us anymore. So now we can start, you know, continue on. Our next stop is Cerulean City. Let's take a look at the town map. Let's see, Cerulean City. Let's see, gotta go through Route 3, Mount Moon, Route 4, and there it is. It's directly to the east. Alright, east ho! In the case, how's it going, bitch? You looked at me, didn't you? No, you were just in my line of vision. Why, do you want to go out or something? I'm just not that into you. No! In any case, battle time. Like, did you look at me? Um, do you have a problem with that? Is it against the law to look at you? Well, viewers, apparently in the game, it's against the law to look at a, to look at a trainer. Wow, go figure. Because they have no problem looking at your ass. Especially if they have a boner for you and they want to fucking battle you. Which happens every time they look at you. So, yeah. But, th this bitch. Oh, um. Did you look at me? Fuck off. Thunder Shock! Bitch out of here. <laughs> Fried bird, anyone? <laughs> well, that was simple. You're mean! Well, maybe you shouldn't have fought me then. Bitch. <laughs> Quit staring if you don't want to fight. You're the one that attacked me! What are you on, bitch? Because whatever you're on... Uh, you know what? Never mind. Like, don't stare! <laughs> Don't stare if you don't want to, um, to fight. You stared at me. You came after me. Bitch. I, uh, why? Ugh, whatever. In any case, this trainer, see, hey, I met you in Viridian Forest. Do I know you? <laughs> I... I mean, I fought bug catchers in the forest, but I don't remember your ass. And now that I think about it, I don't think he is a trainer we met in the Viridian Forest. I think he's just a rando that probably saw you off screen. So, there you go. Watch out for Weedle, however, because Weedle is a bitch. And poison sting your ass to death. That's why I said they have antidotes before you go into the Viridian Forest. So you're one of the trainers that have that guy. Not that it matters, because I could just easily take their asses out. Locate that bitch! Don't kinda shock the bug can survive a kick to the face. Since then, I can just squash their asses. Or can kick! Pretty much. GG, bitch. You beat me again. I don't even recall fighting you. There are other ki kinds of Pokemon that those found in the forest. Wow, no shit. I didn't know that. Okay, now you're just being a smart ass. No. What do you want? Hi, I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. Uh, okay. What? Hi, I like shorts. Do you like shorts? I like shorts. Who likes short shorts? I love short shorts. Oh my god. Gen 1 has those kind of trainers, viewers. <laughs> oh word! You're in the way! There you go. Woo! Level up, baby. Huh. I don't believe it. Uh, believe it. <laughs> Sorry, bruh. I fast forwarded so much I forgot you got poisoned. Rip. There 
There we go. Yeah, let's heal you up to four, baby. I can't, I can't have my main star getting KO'd on the road. Yeah, there you go. You see how awesome Pikachu is? At the beginning, he hated your ass. Now he loves your ass. <laughs> that look you gave me, it's so intriguing. Oh, is it now? Oh, uh, here we go. Hey, you're not wearing shorts. Bruh. What is it with you youngster trainers and your obsession with shorts? Why don't you eat your shorts? Why don't you marry? All right, viewers, I'm back. In any case, I always wear shorts, even in the wintertime. What? Uh, why? shorts in the winter time who does that shit and oh yeah when this girl aggro's you she blocks the way so in order to get past that you have to fight this dude right after her they they this bitch cock blocks you and then this dude has to fight you afterwards wow that's a dick move you have no choice but to fight them both <laughs> that dude that i just fought you can avoid his ass, but not those two. You can fight my new Pokemon. Hmm. How new is it? Well, let's find out. In the case, let's see what you got, bruh. Wow, Caterpie? Caterpie? Oh, it's so fucking new! I'm so impressed by your Caterpie! Move, bitch! Done like dinner. <laughs> now that's the one line I love that I always have remembered to this day, 20 years or so later. Done like dinner, baby. In the case. Huh? How's it going? Ah! Did you touch me? I was nowhere near you! What the fuck is with these chicks? Did you look at me? Eek! Did you touch me? What? What the fuck is with these bitches? Low kick that bitch! Uh Whoa. Ooh, that was close. Low kick the bitch! Yeah, watch out for Jigglypuff. How? How the fuck did that bitch survive? Okay, well, squash the bitch then. Get it out of the way. Fuck out of here. Yeah, watch out for Jigglypuff. Sing is annoying. That's why I told you guys to get Awakenings. Now you know why I told you to get Awakenings for that bitch. So that way you don't have to go all the way back to Pewter to heal. So, yeah. Get some for the road. That's it? What do you mean that's it? Did you want me to touch you? What the fuck is wrong with these bitches? I, I, I don't understand. Weirdos. I better take a rest. Ugh, that tunnel from Cerulean takes a lot out of you. Is that the soul? In any case, I forgot to mention this, but Route 3, you can catch Sandshrew here as well. They are rare encounters, but pure ground type. So if you want a really good ground type, um, Sandshrew is one of the best, but not the best. Trust me, that that role that title is reserved for one of the best ground types in the game, which we'll be seeing later on. You probably already saw him already. <laughs> you you know the one I'm talking about if you played the game too many times to count. Ah, I tripped over a rocky Pokemon, Geo dude. Okay. <laughs> what? In any case, hey dude. Oh yeah, thanks. I kind of already knew that. In any case. How's it going, old man? Hello there. Have I got a deal just for you? Uh, I feel like I'm about. I'm a feel like I'm about to get fleeced. I'll let you have a swell magic card for just five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars for a magic card? What do you say? No. No, I'm only doing this as a favor to you. Five hundred dollars for a magic card. 
a Magikarp that can't do shit but splash until level 15 when it gets tackled. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> I'll get it anyway. If anything for the Pokedex. But still, that 500 for a Magikarp is just robbery. No. <laughs> But Magikarp is a water type. If you get it to level 20, it will evolve into Gyarados. Gyarados is not as worthless as Magikarp is. Gyarados is water slash flying type, despite it not learning any flying type moves to speak of. Mm. But well, if you want a really strong water type, Gyarados is one of the best in the game. Though, you have to get it up like 15 levels from Magikarp when you get it from this guy. Oof. Good luck with that. Now, Magikarp or Gyarados, I'm not going for Gyarados. Because if memory serves, I, I think I used Gyarados in my Pokemon Red walkthrough, so I can't use it in yellow. So, oh well. I have another Pokemon reserved for my water type in the game. And in any case, viewers, we are outside of Mount Moon. But what awaits us one of the most annoying dungeons in the game? Find out next time. You guys enjoy, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for gaming bits for me. And of course, when you subscribe, be sure to hit the bell to notify on my newest uploads. Got something to say? Of course you do. Leave a comment, duh. Till next time, dudes and dudettes. This is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day, my bitches and bros. Smile you later.